Alexa, what is the surf forecast for today in San Juan? Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. What's up guys? So I've been wanting to learn how to write custom code for my Amazon Alexa speaker for a while. I've been learning to surf for about a year now, and what I usually do when I want to go surf is take out my phone to check the forecast. If it looks good and the waves aren't too big for a beginner like myself, I then head out to surf for about an hour or two. A few days ago, I thought it'd be pretty cool if I could write some code so that my Alexa speaker could tell me what the surf forecast in my area for the day was whenever I would ask. This ended up being a pretty interesting little project involving some cool technologies and techniques, so I wanted to share with you guys my process and show you how it works. So first things first, how does an Amazon Alexa skill actually work? Well, as most of you probably know, whenever you want to interact with an Alexa speaker, the first thing you have to do is say Alexa, and then ask the question you want to get an answer for. The Alexa speaker listens to whatever you said and then sends that recorded audio over the internet to a service called the Alexa service. This service uses speech recognition and machine learning to analyze that audio and convert it to text and then send a JSON object to a listening web server. This JSON object is called an intent as it details the user's intention, whatever they were asking or looking for. Whenever this web server receives this intent and recognizes what you're asking for, it then goes look for that data, usually from an external data source, like a database or an API. It then processes that data however necessary and sends a response back to the Alexa service in JSON format detailing what the Alexa speaker should say back to the user. The Alexa service converts any necessary text back to audio, sends that to the speaker, and then you can hear whatever the response is. So for this specific project, to make this surf forecasting thing work, what I would have to do is create a web server that listens for a specific intent where the user is asking for the forecast in a specific region in Puerto Rico, which is where I live. The server then goes look for that data from an external data source, processes it, and then sends back a response detailing whatever the Alexa speaker should say. The first step I took was to figure out what was going to be my external data source. Where was I going to get the data for the forecast? Usually on my phone or my computer, I look at two different sites to check if I should go surf in Puerto Rico. The first is Surfline, which is a really popular tool for this kind of thing, especially in the States. The second is a site called Caricus, which a friend recommended to me when I was first learning how to surf. This site gives you information on several important factors for surfing being recorded at different buoy stations in the ocean across Puerto Rico. The most important data points or factors here are wave height, wave direction, wave period, wind speed, and wind direction. So for my custom Alexa skill, I decided to use this website to retrieve my data. It doesn't have any public APIs or anything like that, so I had to do a little bit of web scraping to make this work. I was gonna show you guys my exact web scraping process for this project, but I think that might be better suited for a separate video. Essentially what happens is that your code makes a request to a given web page, which retrieves the HTML contents of that page processes that HTML, and then looks for the data points that you need within the HTML. I followed this process to retrieve the wave height, wave period, wave direction, wind speed, and wind direction data points for two different regions, Arecibo and San Juan in Puerto Rico from the Caricus website. All right, so with that, now we have all the necessary logic to extract the data we wanted from the Caricus website for our Alexa skill. Now we would have to take this logic and put it in a listening web server so that whenever the user asks for the forecast to an Alexa speaker, it can then communicate with that server. The server would then get those data points with the web scraping logic and send back the response so that the speaker can tell the forecast to that user. I want to point something out though the Amazon documentation recommends that instead of writing this logic in a traditional web server, 
that instead you do it in a serverless function running on AWS Lambda. I won't go into the nitty gritty details of what serverless functions are as that deserves a whole other video, but all you need to know is that it basically allows you to not have to worry about managing web servers at all. It's pretty much infinitely scalable. So in other words, that means that hundreds and thousands of users can be using your service and you don't have to worry about it. And it's also very cost effective. If you'd like for me to make another video on serverless functions and how they work in the future, let me know in the comments. The next thing I did was that I hopped onto the Amazon Alexa developer console. I created a new skill with a default template, and then I decided on an invocation name and what the intent would look like. In English, this means that I decided what the user would have to say so that the Alexa speaker communicates with my skill. Essentially, it would be something like this. Alexa ask go surf what the forecast is for today in San Juan. After doing this, I went to work on the serverless function. What I did was that I took some sample code online. I modified it so that it would now use the web scraping logic so that whenever the user asks for the forecast, the speaker communicates with the function and then the web scraping logic is triggered so that it gets the necessary data from the Caricus website and then it generates a output um, so that the speaker knows what it should say. I wrote all this code with Node.js and JavaScript, by the way, and I deployed it to AWS Lambda with the serverless framework. There's an easier way to do this with the Alexa developer console's built-in code editor, but I decided to take a little more complicated route. Here is the final result. Alexa, ask GoSurf what the forecast for today is in San Juan. What's up? In San Juan, the current significant wave height is 6.7 feet and they are coming in from the north-northeast. The dominant wave period is 8.3 seconds. Wind speeds are at 15.3 knots, coming in from the east-northeast. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for my journey making my first custom Amazon Alexa skill. I haven't gotten it approved or published it yet as it's something I made for a specific need I had. I don't think it's production ready and I wanna make some improvements in the future. Um, so I have it installed locally on my speaker and I've been trying it out for the past couple of days. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see a follow-up to this video, if I do end up making some improvements and adding some things in the future. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to see more content like this from me and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions on what you'd wanna see in the future. See you guys in the next one. Peace.